You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out the next Happy Meal toy for 2017. But technically now, the Sing Toys that came out at the end of 2016, I showed those in 2017, but I'm considering this the first release set in 2017. Not only Teen Titans Go, they also released the Sweetheart set, probably for Valentine's Day to kind of get both sets of toys at the same time. So when I come back then, I will be checking out the Happy Meal box and then of course the toys, and I've downloaded the games already. But I also want to say thanks to everybody who's watching the videos and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I do appreciate that. So off to the Happy Meal box. Okay, so this is the box for this round of toys. Now you do have the Red side with the yellow smiley. That's pretty standard on every Happy Meal box we've seen so far. This is the actual Teen Titans Go side. Let's see, it says, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? And the answer is underneath. And then, uh, what's the best way to talk to a T-Rex? And then, what do you call an alligator wearing a vest? I'll let you check out the answers underneath. And of course, the McPlay app, which I have downloaded the games. There's actually only two games this round. And then Cuties. I saw somewhere Cuties are back, so I'm not sure if they left Happy Meals for a while. And then, let's see. This is the toys that are in the second set. I believe this is 8 or 12 in this one. And they're all little, like these little keychain locket things. And then they open up with a scented lip gloss and a mirror, I believe. And they are for sweethearts. And that's it. That is for the box. Let's see. This always tells you the next set of toys. It looks like something with Batman. I'm not sure what Batman it is. The Lego Batman, it looks like. Movie. I've seen some highlights for that one already. All right. So when I come back, I will uh, start with the toys. All right. Toy number one is Robin. Now, I remember when I showed something for this series of Teen Titans Go!, there were some uh, people that weren't happy with this version of Teen Titans. They are fans of older versions. Or older version. I don't know how many versions there were. At least two that I know of. And then, uh, okay, so let's just see. It looks like his leg should go this way. But it looks like this is some kind of twisty toy. And then, let's see. One, almost wind him up. Two, let him go. I don't know how much you can wind him up, though. Okay, there's no ticks or clicks. Oh, you can wind them up pretty far. There he goes. All right. Now here is the little cardboard disc that goes with it. Teen Titans Go. So that's really it on the toy. Of course, this is Robin. And that's what he does. Hmm. Not overly exciting, but still a toy. Nonetheless, I think that's a better look. Let's see if I can turn him this way so you can kind of see his face. Have I seen Teen Titans Go? You're probably wondering. I'm going to say yes. I've probably seen every episode watching it with my kids. And uh, they seem to like the show. And it is funny. I like it. There's a lot of good laughs in there. But I haven't actually watched the original or the first version. So I don't know what the difference is between the two. I'd have to actually go on YouTube probably and watch the first round. All right, toy number two is Beast Boy. This one looks really interesting. Looks like he's got a couple changing heads or something. Let's just see what he does. Okay, he's in a plastic bag. There he is. Right, that is his little card. And then it looks like you take off his head and you can take it off and put on either of his two heads. Okay, there is the dinosaur. And this looks like a cat, doesn't it? So let's put one on him, but let's just take a quick look at him. Let me just move this down a little bit straighter now. And then here we go. Number one, 
head number one. So there now he's changed to that. Okay. And then let's see, head number two. Ah, look at him inside there. Head number two. I will say some of the episodes are pretty wacky. It has It's probably one of the wackier of all the cartoons I've seen. Okay, that is toy number two. Toy number three is Cyborg. You move out of the way. I'll tell you what, I'll just try to leave it at this camera angle. I don't keep going up and down, up and down. Now I can just put him here at this angle, and he's right on it. There you go. How's that? This looks like he has a launcher. All right. Here's his little cardboard disc. And then let's get his launching thing here. All right. It actually just looks like meatballs, but it might have a significance to something. So this is pretty open in here. And then it looks like it can go either way, but let's see if they want it this way. Okay, not this way, this way. So there is a longer side here, and then that goes to the left. Okay, that's in. And then it looks like you're just pushing it out with your finger. One of those kind of like launching on the floor toys. Okay, had to get that. Let's see. Here we go. So watch it from this perspective now, so it won't shoot off the table. All right, so now you got to get the idea there. Arm turns. You know, let me do something. I didn't check out the other figures, what turns and moves. Okay. Basically, on Robin, there's nothing. Let's check out Beast Boy here. Yeah, that's it. His arm moves. His arms move up and down. That's it on him. Head does not even turn because it's locked in. All right, let's get to the number four toy. Number four is Raven. Okay. Let's see what Raven does. Okay. Looks like something happens with her arms or something. Okay, there's an on switch. It's supposed to light up her eyes. Ah. So when you lift up and down, that's when her eyes start to turn red. It's a little scary. Okay. Scary toy number four. Not much more to these. And number five. Number five. This one is Starfire. In a car. All right. And then there is a cardboard disc like all the other ones. Some instructions. It is a pullback toy, it looks like. Let's just double check that. Very slow pullback toy. There we go. So not as fast as some of the other ones we've seen. There's the bottom. And it's almost like a softer material here. Let me see. A little bit softer. Front wheels are hard plastic. And then there is a sticker sheet. Ah, but they don't give you any indication. Oh, you would think, where do they show you? Okay, they don't show you, oh, back here, all right. I had a feeling they'd be somewhere. It usually is on there. So you have the T for Teen Titans, that's kind of cool, on the front of the vehicle. Okay, and then A looks like the bigger wheels for the center hubcaps.
Okay, and then there are a bunch on the back. Look, one, two, three, four Fs on the back. Oh, here we go. Tiny, tiny decals. Trying to get those on just right is always a challenge. And then let's see. So on the side, here, let me do this. Let me, there's a star up there. I'll do one side so you can kind of see it. Done. And then one flame. Okay, one on each side it looks like. And then there's this C sticker. And number five. Well, it looks like back here is this. And then this. Let's go the other way with this one. Oh, doesn't matter, I guess. It kind of goes like this on this side like that and then I think we got all the got that got that okay so that's what one side looks like let me put that one center B hub on there we go and there's the big T on the front the grill and then there's a couple other funny stickers here they don't have associated letters or numbers you got the Teen Titans go that's an actual sticker, so that's kind of neat. That comes off the sheet. And then this is a gear, not associated letter, so you don't necessarily have to put that on. All right. Numero six. This one is Dr. Light. You think it's gonna light up? I do. Let's just see, here's his associated tag. And then, all right, yes, the yellow on his head lights up. Let's just see how that works. There's a little switch. Okay, so there's no on and off. It's just a little lever that you lift up and down. Yeah. Maybe when I check out the app for this set, I'll light these up. It's kind of neat that his eyes light up. All right, that is the set. Let me come back, put them all together here, and then I will check out the app. But let's just, uh, there's only six, so I'll just lay them out right now. I'll be right back. Here are the six toys. So, what do you think, Teen Titan fans? I'm going to Google that right now. Let me just Google it right now. I need to know how many, get a little series information here. Let's see, we're Googling Teen Titans Go. Oh, Google screen just came up. While you look at the toys, see, I could do this. Teen Titans Go. Now, I, the Teen Titans Go is its own series. I know that, because Teen Titans... Let's just find the original Teen Titans. Okay, American Animated Series. Episodes. Okay, so a bunch of episodes, obviously. They list all... Here's the wiki page okay now I see the characters back then had somewhat of a more realistic look to them and that started in come on where's the year 2003 and ended in 2006 followed by Teen Titans Go okay so that's kind of the chronology there so let me just zoom in now I know so anybody who is a fan of that original series from 2003 to 2006 let me know in the comments now what I would like to say is that even though you might not be a fan of the new series at least it keeps the series going in some way so then maybe fans of this series can go back and watch the other series and see what you like about that series does that make any sense it's like when a toy company releases a toy that was your favorite toy way back when and you say oh it's nothing like the original well yeah, but at least it keeps it in the limelight. And at least people from new generations can enjoy them. Did you get my extreme close-up? Let me do that one more time. Extreme close-up. How's that? All right, so that's all I need to do is show you the app. Now, it's only two games, believe it or not. It's kind of nice. They did a little bit different. They didn't go with six different ones, so it's kind of been the pattern now for them to release less games so when I come back then I will be showing you the app 
While that plays for a second, check out this guy. Let's see if he works now. There he is. A little blurry, but there he is. And watch how she lights up now that you can see her in the dark. I'm not sure what those appendage things are. They kind of look like they're giving her arms. They're hooks. I don't know if that's from a specific episode. See, I've watched so many of them. I have no idea, but I'm sure Teen Titans Go fans will have a better understanding of that. That looks pretty cool. Whee! All right, back to the app. Well, let's start with the app. Here we go. See games. Now watch this. You go left and right. There's no other game. So it's just light laser tag and laser hockey. Thought it was going to lock up there for a second. There we go. Try it. Try it. Okay. I'm trying. Okay. Oh, so it's kind of like my laser beam. Let me give it a little top down so you don't see my hand as much. Okay. Oh, we don't want to hit our friends. Well, let's see. Let's hit Robin. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Why I got... I'll just shoot everything. How's that? So it's a timed challenge. Whoa. Come on, come on. So I have 50, just under 50 seconds now, 46 seconds. Let's see what I can score. Can you beat my score? Have you played this? You don't need the toys anymore to scan the apps because it just automatically scans within like five seconds. They've completely improved that process. I noted the switch in a video. I don't know how many videos back. Remember I said, wow, this is sure easier than it used to be. They've taken all the guesswork out of it. There were probably so many complaints about the scanning. Does my score go down when I hit one of my friends? I'm not sure. All right. Booyah! Great job! All right, let's check out the next game. Are you sure? Yes. Back to McPlay. And let's see what this one's all about. See games. Laser hockey. Here we go. See, I thought it locked up last time at this point. There we go. All right. So they want you to put it this way. Here we go. Play. Okay. So it's like, okay, go. It's like air hockey. I used to have that air hockey app on my phone. That neon one. I don't know what that one's called. Can you control this guy? No. Ooh. A lot of times in hair hockey, you know, you score on yourself because you're moving too fast and you go whoop, like that. Is there a total score? I don't know. Maybe it's to 10. Should I just let him score? Bet you it's a 10.
Ooh, good black. Eck, I uh, had a call come in, so I had to make an edit there. But I'm past 10, I'm on 11 now, and it's not making any sense as to how many I'm supposed to score. Maybe it said it and I didn't see it. Ooh, let's just hold that there. Oh, cool. Let's just see if there's a question. Yeah, we understand that. Okay, so it's the game that never ends, or they don't tell you. Oh, it started over. I don't know why. All right, I'll tell you what, let me turn the lights back on and we'll kind of recap everything. I'll be back. All right, turning that off. I believe now that is to 12, because it looked like it reset back to 1 after 12 points. So that's what I am guessing. Nice to see that they didn't expand and have six games. They're two completely different games, so that's kind of cool. And then the six toy set now for Teen Titans Go. Let me ask you this now. Teen Titan fans, Teen Titan Go fans, what if I put up a playlist and say, I love Teen Titans, I love Teen Titans Go, I love both. And we'll kind of get an idea where all of the watchers are for Lucky Penny Shop. Now, by the way, now, this is the first official video for 2017, so this is going to be a brand new playlist to start that one. 2016, 2015, 2014, I believe, are complete years of every toy that's ever came out. 2013, 2012 are mixed for different sets, and then there's a retro toy set playlist that has tons of videos from all different years. So if you can... It would help me out tremendously. Take a look at those videos, you know, grab some popcorn, sit back, maybe grab some McDonald's, sit back, some french fries, and catch up on all those old videos. And if you could share this, it would be really appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave! What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.